Hey guys, have you ever wanted to simplify your workflow transitions to a selection in a data card so that your users can simply use a pull down and then just use one transition? Then today's Q-tip is for you. This is one that we put together a long time ago, I think maybe five years ago. We had a request from one of our customers to set up PDM so that it would work like their data management system works in supply chain for their buyers, where they would route the data based on just a pull down. And once they did the pull down, then they would change virtual states, if you will. So in this case, they needed a list of destination states, and these are all destination states in the workflow. And then whenever they're ready to route it, all they have to do is right click on the file, change state, and just use one transition. That's it, just one. That way they don't have to worry about which direction the file goes. They just wanna be able to send it from one state or one department to 10 other departments. Right now, the files are in this state. CCB review, open, pending revision, created. And each of these have a destination department set, which is this variable right here. And so if I want to send this one to pending customer response, or if I want to send it to pending revision, it's just a version-free variable. All I have to do is change the variable, click save, and then route it. Right click, change state, and then send to routing. But what I want to do is actually send them all at the same time through one transition and have them go to every state, every other state in the workflow. So the process doesn't have to follow a linear progression through the workflow like most workflows in PDM are set up. So today's Q-tip is pretty dynamic. Right click, change state, routing. All four of these files, these are just XML files, are going to go from the state that you see to the state that is the destination department. They're gonna to go to pending customer response, NCCB review closed approved, and then open pending issues. We can put in whatever we need to as far as the comment goes. And then PDM does the work for us. This is actually handled, I mean, if you can imagine wanting to go from one state to any other state in the workflow, you're going to have to have 100 transitions because you're gonna have a transition going from every state to every other state so it would look like a spaghetti mess but we actually did this with a very minimal number of transitions and I'll show you how we did it so the files have transitioned they've gone to pending revisions CCB review close approve open pending issues and then the route to gets cleared let's take a look at the back end and see how this is accomplished and this is all out of the box functionality by the way this is not using any kind of a custom add-in this is this is just an SQL list on the data card so we'll take a look at that first. This is just, this field is called CR underscore routing and it's using an SQL list. And if you look at CR routing, CR underscore routing, it's a version free variable that updates the latest version only. If you look at the workflow, this is where this gets kind of fun. The files are in the CM workflow. If you look at version tab and we click on one of these, it's in the CM workflow, the pending revision state. So we're going to the CM workflow. This is how this is done. From every state, we use the exact same transition name that jumps out to another workflow. And then in this other workflow, the files get sent back through an automatic transition. And then in the conditions, you want to make sure that the text is bigger than zero. So every one of these transitions has that condition only. This is the routing that sends them all back. So you have to make sure that everybody has permission to run the transitions and then these are all automatic. They will have a condition that says CR routing is equal to canceled and then it gets routed back to canceled. Now this is the part that's hard coded. If we look at CM workflow closed rejected, that will be hard coded inside each one of these transitions, closed comma rejected. All I've done is just copied the, the state names from the other workflow and pasted it into here so I don't get it wrong. I don't have any typos. So that's actually how that part is done. The routing is handled pretty simply. It's just, just two workflows with a lot of links in between. And then we're not dealing with a spaghetti mess. It's just numerous transitions into one workflow link. And then from this one state, it's all going back to numerous states to the destination state. So let's go take a look at the SQL list that drives the query that pull down list is populated from. It's in this list called CR states. It's really nothing more than to select the state name from status S, which is just an alias, where we interjoin on workflows on the workflow ID, where the workflow name is equal to CM workflow. 
and we click test and then this is where all of those states come in from. So the workflow doesn't ever really change, so we don't have to worry about refreshing this, but we've got it set to refresh every five minutes. Okay, so then the, the next question is, is, well, does it require anything special? So again, we've got a version-free variable. We've got an SQL list that, used, that we use to pull down this list for, of state names from, and then for every one of these, we can set them to closed approved. You could even set up a dispatch if you wanted to where you could set these in batch closed approved with just a right click and do that for all the documents and that's just another enhancement that we may add we don't need to but this is just an out-of-the-box way of thinking because most of the time you've got workflows that look something similar to this you've got some form of a linear progression through and then you've got a loop to go back and forth well again we just had a customer ask us is it possible to go from one state to any other state because we've got users that are in different departments that don't have a need to go through a linear process or an approval process. They just need to be able to route these documents wherever they need to. So today's Q-tip is out of the box functionality, but we're thinking outside the box because we're not using the linear progression that we're all accustomed to seeing inside the PDM workflow. I hope today's Q-tip has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and believe in the queue.